You are here live on Hawk Radio with the one and only Jazz J. I have an interview with hip-hop artist Young Banks from Buffalo, New York. Say hello to the audience. Hey, what's good? It's Young Banks. Um, this is a pre-interview before he comes next week, Monday. He will be our guest for the show. Um, how do you feel? Are you excited about this? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a few things. You can just introduce yourself to the audience. Just uh, give a little bit of information about yourself to the audience. What to look forward to. All right. Cool. Well, um, I'm actually born and raised in Buffalo. I'm still here in Buffalo. Uh, I'm actually, like, putting out a few tracks right now. I'm building up my fan base back. Um, I've actually been in music for, like, over 10 years now. Started rapping when I was 9. Started recording when I was 11. I'm 18 now. So, it's, you know, I'm kind of doing good with it. Got a lot of followers from the Buffalo area and Niagara Falls. Um, what what is your inspiration behind the music that you make? Who are your musical influence? Well, um, my inspiration behind it, like, is basically like I was always a quiet person, so I feel like that's my only way to talk to people, you know. And then, you know, I got a lot of I got a lot of things I think people relate to, so it's kind of interesting. And like, you know, it's more like having a conversation through music. Um, a lot of people like I want to work with, probably like you know, like Nas, um, Meek Mills. Like with the fiasco, um, I don't know. It's a lot of people I can go on forever, but you know, general idea like kind of like the people I like to listen to. And like speaking of that, like, um, do you when you make your music, like, you, do you think of those artists, or do you try to make your own material, or do you <coughs> get like um, inspiration from their different type of tracks? Where where do you go to make your creativity come out? Oh, cool. That's a good question. Um, actually. I don't listen to anybody right before I do my music. I try to stay in my own head. Because, you know, I feel like when I when I do that, like, I actually, like, I would get an instrumental from somebody who I like, and I'll probably hear the instrumental before I hear the song. And then I finish the song and go listen to theirs, and you know, I, I hear a lot of difference. So that's why I try not to listen to anybody else before I do a song. And if you had to, like, I mean, if you had to tell anybody else that's trying to do music, um, any type, of, give them any type of advice. What your advice would be for them? Any type of upcoming singers, um, writers, whatever they are, like hip hop artists, anything. What would you tell them? Um, stick with it. Don't quit. Is that what do people say? Um, practice make perfect. Cause I suck when I started. And um, find a find a dream about it. You know, don't just be like I just want to sing. Find a dream. Like picture something in your head and then go for it. And last question, um, are you coming out with any, like, a full-length album? How many albums have you released? And what other new tracks should your fans be looking forward to uh, coming out during this year, 2013? Well, um, actually, I'm coming out with a mixtape and a movie. So, you know, I'm actually just working on my networking and get in touch with a lot more artists from Buffalo. Work with them, um, you know, probably like join a little fan base, and then I'll be releasing a date for my mixtape and movie. Oh, speaking of the movie, what what uh, what is the name of the movie? What's it gonna be about? Just brief, because uh, I don't want to give too much out for I actually. Interview. <laughs> well, um, I don't have a name for the movie, and I kind of got an idea for the name of the mixtape, but I'm not releasing that yet. But basically, the movie is gonna be about my past life and why I stopped doing this for like a year. Okay. Um, so, probably like my junior senior year, I'm gonna be explaining like what happened, like in my life that made me stop for a second. Okay. And where I'm at now. Okay. Uh, for the fans that want to get in contact with you, where would they go? What what pages would they go on, social media wise and stuff like that, to find you, like fan pages, Twitter, things of that nature, or to find your music on the web? Okay, cool. Um, Facebook is Y U N G B A N K S Z. Um, for Twitter, Instagram is Y-U-N-G underscore B-A-N-K-S-Z. And same thing for uh, YouTube. Yeah, thanks. What is the other that? Okay. And we will be seeing you on Monday. I guess I'm going to wrap this up, promote this little right, video, cool. hand it out to your fans, and um, hopefully everyone will be tuned in. That's on Hawk Radio. You go to live365.com. It's an app you can download to your phone. So tune in at 8 p.m for your the full length interview and much much more uh thank you sean banks you want to say goodbye to the audience yeah i'll see y'all next week y'all definitely better tune in all right and uh thanks for the interview all right we out. you're welcome
All right, we out, and uh, make sure you guys tune in, live365.com. That is this coming Monday, February 11th, 8 p.m., and you won't be disappointed. It's a lot of fun. Me, Jazzy J, and the gang, so all right, we out.